You get a eight. chance to check out um, Matt Dilla Bloviator. Oh, Matt Dilla Hunte? Matt Dilla, no, it's Matt Dilla Bloviator. Um, oh. Yeah, be, because this guy, Andrew, re- really, you know, skewered him mocking and condemning transsexualism in included in his attack upon humanism. From my perspective, for instance, attempting to lie to people who claim men can be women isn't human flourishing. From Matt's perspective, it is. Why? Why should the collective of humanity lie and say men can get pregnant? Why should uh, they say that men can have periods? Things which are categorically and obviously false. That preserving homosexuality in society is good for human flourishing, even though they are reproductive dead ends. And because Matt Del Hunt is in a homosexual relationship with with a transvestite male, Correct. he he was so pissed that he feigned or faked leaving the debate because Andrew, his debate opponent, quote unquote, wasn't on topic, and he was just simply uh, Matt De Oblivia was saying, "Well, he's just talking about Matt thinks this, Matt thinks that," rather than discussing humanism. Well. Everything that he criticized in there, the humanists accept. To the question of if a man can be a woman, they say the answer is yes. And the way we will decree they can be a woman is by simply saying that woman now means male. Problem solved. Thank you, secular humanists. Thank you so much. Nope, not kidding. Why, you ask, would people be this over-the-top stupid? Well, it's simple. The good is the good, man. We have to do what's good for human society and human flourishing. And if you don't call these deranged lunatics something they obviously aren't, they might self-terminate. So in order to avoid that, we need to make everybody on planet Earth lie to them. This is human flourishing. Well, yeah, I, you know, context. and that's so funny. Matt takes off his microphone, he gets up and he says, um, he calls Andrew a jackass. So Andrew decides to, you know, give him a little quid pro quo, and he he, he, he tells Matt Delahunty that he, he hopes Matt and his husband um, have a good night. <laughs> well, I forget the exact wordings were, were, but it was so funny. Hey, James, <coughs> I just sent you a message. All right. We are going to kick it into an open discussion, so uh, 50 minutes, and uh, let's kick it. No, I don't think so. I'm not going to sit here and dignify the preparation that I went through and what people were here for. You're so indignant. Keep interrupting me. I, I am. Okay. You're so indignant. Would man. the moderator like to step in so that I can finish oh, what I'm oh, saying? Please, Matt. How dare someone have an opposing I, worldview? I, I'm not going to sit here and dignify what was supposed to be a debate about Christianity versus secular humanism, which one's better for the world. Yes. With someone who clearly showed up with an agenda that has nothing to do with that. I just like someone who refers to trans people as deranged lunatics who will self terminate if you dare to question them. How am I wrong, Matt? Someone, someone who misrepresents a quote from a debate where I said I wouldn't make a law about nine year olds having sex being legal with respect to the nine year olds, not that I was in any way in favor of it and that I was actually opposed to it, which I addressed during that debate. But moreover, this is not remotely an honest interaction on the front of whether or not secular humanism is valuable. Because this, when he presented his position here, has nothing to do with secular humanism. From the get-go, it's all about me. Matt thinks, Matt thinks, Matt thinks. I'm given what Matt thinks, what Matt thinks, what Matt thinks, what Matt thinks. Matt's position. I came in with the secular humanist manifesto. I came in with positions. That aren't just positions. my, that aren't merely my position. Oh, well, as long as multiple people hold the position, it this makes This guy's it valid. not serious, and I'm leaving. James, if you want a refund, you Well, good know. day, sir. And I'll cover your refund, cool. Mr. Cool. Matt. He just said he'd cover my I refund. I would cover his refund. <laughs> no. Nope. No, I'm not going to dignify a debate with someone who walked in to trash talk people and be smug and all of the things that he's being right now. He's already said he will cover my expenses. You don't have anything to worry about. This debate is over. Goodbye. Goodbye. Jackass. 
<laughs> did you call? Did you did you call me a jackass, Matt? Well, you and your husband have a good day, Matt. Uh, <laughs> have a wonderful day, Matt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that was fine. I mean, if you're gonna take a parting shot, I will too, Matt. Yeah, yeah. No, your parting shot's correct. <laughs> Yeah, did you, did you watch the audience? Uh, some of the audience was attacking him for saying that, and he said, well, why are you attacking me? You shouldn't have any problem with that if you're in favor of that whole trans thing. Right. Uh, right. You know? <laughs> so why, so it's like, know, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it, wouldn't be, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't be insulting you know unless what? he realizes that uh, yeah. there's something wrong with it. Right. And you know what's funny is... Um, is Andrew was using the same kind of mockery and sarcasm in his polemic that Matt Delahunty uses all the time. And like other of these virulent atheists, like Aaron Ramen Noodle, Bat Guana Crazy, Christopher Hitchens, Matt DeLobloviator, they, they in a very smarmy, arrogant way mock uh, Christianity. Right? Well, hey, what's sauce okay. for the goose is sauce for the gander. It's okay to mock Christianity, but don't mock, you know, any of these like LGBTQ people. Well, I think you guys should watch it because it's hysterical. And by the way, you should know that it's not that he's just in a relationship with a homosexual transvestite. This person has posted um pornographic pictures of themselves of such that are so disgusting I wouldn't even describe that he had, he had posted at one time on um, on the internet I think it was on his um, um, Twitter feed but I think it's since been taken down this is the kind of person he's in a relationship I bet his parents are so proud of him <laughs> <laughs> well you you can actually see on the videotape when andrew says he refers to them as lunatics and you can see matt del hunty's face light up like a christmas tree <laughs> it was so funny yeah, there, there wasn't anything wrong with uh, what what's his name Andrew Wilson was saying because all he was doing was giving examples with regards to why secular humanism is uh, ridiculous, and, and so he was simply giving an examples. Uh, Delahunty took he he took issue with the examples that Wilson was giving, so so that's why he left the debate. It, Wilson well, wasn't really off topic. That, Look, he Matt left because he was personally offended at Andrew's condemnation uh, of transsexualism, or I should say transvestism, because there's no such thing as transsexualism. That would be that would be like you know it, people talk about transgenderism or transsexualism. Well, why don't we talk about shape shifters too? You know. No, he Andrew was spot on when when he said they're lunatic. This is lunacy. Did you get that, Tom Rabbit?